This week, we've been examining the ways our hometowns are making headway into the battle against the addiction epidemic. Tonight, we're looking at clinical solutions, specifically a bridge program showing promise for getting people from the emergency room to treatment. WDBJ7's Leanna Scicchetti has been speaking with local doctors about these efforts. She joins us now. Uh, Leanna, they say the infrastructure they built is making a difference. It is, Jean. The clinicians leading the way at Carilion Clinic in Roanoke say in the last few years, education for medical professionals and evidence-based practices are showing signs of success. While the need is still enormous, they say they now have a more solid foundation to build upon. In just a few years, Carilion Clinic Roanoke Memorial Hospital has made big changes to the way it treats patients for substance use disorder. Just a few years ago, leaders here say more than 80% of those patients who came to the emergency department would never make it to a follow-up appointment. It's different now. We now have over 600 people uh, in active treatment for an opioid use disorder. Um, the vast majority are in medication uh, for opioid use disorder treatment, typically uh, buprenorphine based, and that's been working very, very well. Dr. Robert Tressman says in 2018, Carillion stood up a bridge program to start treatment in the hospital. Patients are now received with peer support specialists who lead them through medication for opioid use disorder group therapy and connect them to follow up appointments. Within three to five days after discharge from the emergency room, we see them in a gap care clinic for up to three months to be sure that they can get into care afterwards. Now the numbers in the emergency department are reversed. Tressman says about 70 to 80 percent of those patients in the ER make it to the bridge clinic and with appropriate treatment, they reduce or eliminate the use of opioids by 60 to 70 percent over six months to a year. When people are treated with respect, dignity and deliver the care they need and deserve, it's been remarkable. Despite the increasingly good news on this front, challenges remain. The number of fatal overdoses have skyrocketed in recent years, due in no small part to the pandemic. And while clinicians have developed effective methods to treat opioid use disorder, treatments for stimulants and synthetic drugs are less clear and getting hazier by the day. We are seeing fentanyl pills that look like candy. We are seeing the xylazines and uh, the nitazines that are you frequently call these Frankenstein drugs because of their profound power to kill people. Dr. Tressman knows there are just not enough resources in the community to treat everyone who needs help, but it won't stop him and his team from trying. We need these people. These are not people who are throwaway. These are people who are part of our communities who, once they recover, can meaningfully contribute to their families and their communities. And so it's so important for us to think of the resources that we will recover as a community by investing in their recovery. Dr. Tressman also pointed out the opioid stewardship program at the hospital. They're working to be more mindful of the prescription opioids that they prescribe, tackling the problem on the front end. But again, as we learned from the medical examiner's report in my story on Monday, the western part of Virginia sees higher than average death rates for methamphetamine involved overdoses. So more work needs to be done there, Jean. Coming up at 630, we're going to take a closer look at some of the work being done at Carillion, specifically for pregnant people and the progress they're making there. All right. All very interesting reports. And it's so nice to see that some headway is being made with all the work that is being done. Leanna, thank you.